Good morning. It is Friday the 4th of October. It's 9am and it is time for Today in My Boo Journal. So how are you? I've just read the comments from yesterday's videos and um, Mary said that, oh, she said some of your second half was muted. And it wasn't. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't. I'm absolutely positive it wasn't. Bloody well was. I muted the beginning of the second half. The trouble is you watch it <clears throat> and then you edit it or you record it and then you edit it which means you've basically got to watch the whole thing again and then when you've done that you're like I don't really want to watch it again <clears throat> especially not if you're going to put loads of eye cards and things up because then you have to watch it again to put the eye cards up so I very rarely watch the finished piece I watch it as I edit it and I'm always convinced that I've done it correctly and nine times out of ten I bloody well haven't and it's just like I oh, for crying out loud <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's get on. I did my night care routine. Oh, do you know what? I haven't numbered along the bottom, have I? I knew there was something I hadn't done. Let's just do that quick. Right. So yes, I did do that bit. I knew there was something wrong with that and I couldn't quite put my finger on what it was. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, steps yesterday. Maybe if I actually thumbs up the stupid messages that keep appearing on my Fitbit app, the alarms stop appearing. So it turns out the dog groomer has just been left in the lurch. Everybody's like fucked off. There are two groomers that work there, one's gone on maternity leave and the other's left. So she's there on her own with my friend Zoe, who, but she only bathes. She's not a groomer. Yeah, I know she's in the process of being trained. So there's nobody to groom the dogs. And she's like, uh, can I change your brush? I don't have to turn people away. And I'm like, all right. So she's basically now having to filter <coughs> the work of three people down into one. I'm glad she didn't turn Isis away. <laughs> Isis is in need of a haircut. Scruffy moo. <laughs> right. So that's that bit filled in. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I did wipe the kitchen down before I went to bed. Yay me. Um, yeah, so that's the tick. That's it. That's all done. We did the challenge and everything i stuck shopping in there as my word because i'd forgotten to put that in yesterday so let's change pen that's pretty crappy timing though on one of the groomers parts to go to leave when one of them's already get, about to go on maternity to leave it's a bit off isn't it Okay, so this is my to-do list that I've got running up here. I don't know what I'm going to do when I start running out of room, but yeah. I've cut, done quite a lot. I still need to decorate the cover of this book because it's just the roses at the moment. And I've got all those stickers and stuff that I got. So I want to do that. Um, I need to go and plant some bulbs out of my garden because it's a lovely day. I've done my day face cream. I've not got any makeup on today. Uh, believe it or not, this is a different colour pen. I know that, but Isis will be upset that there's not as many people there to worship her when she goes in on Tuesday. Um, let's have that one. So that's colour 815. So we've got the King of Wands. So in this picture, the King of Wands is a deaf blind guy and he appears to be running some kind of race and there are people there supporting him. So what does this tell you? Well, this tells you that you might be the underdog. You, you, you might have perfectly valid reasons why you are being held back. But 
are they are, are, are while they might be valid are you using that as an excuse yeah does that make sense don't allow your issues whether you're disabled um whether you're uh, suffering from a mental health condition um whether you're whatever it is that you're struggling with okay um there are physical disabilities there are mental disabilities there's depression there's agoraphobia there's a there's a lot whatever it is that you're suffering from does not define you okay you you can take charge and and, and you can make life work for you I don't like the phrase make the best of what you've got or make the most of what you've got or you know the best of a bad thing because that to me says you should you should just accept what you've got and not not move on from it whereas what I'm trying to say to you is yeah okay accept what you've got but don't let it limit you there is always a way to be more do more <laughs> right that's done that's done sleepy time oh god sleep i could quite happily go back to sleep i don't really want to do today you know when you just have those days and you're like i just can't be asked but apparently i was awake for an hour in the night i don't remember that do you ever have that if you if you have a sleep tracker do you then look at it and go i don't remember that according to this i was awake for an hour that explains why i had trouble getting up this morning well, it said i had good sleep but i don't know i don't feel like i did i do feel really tired and quite crap actually with the ever-present headache which I have made an appointment to see a doctor for, but I can't get in until the first. So, yeah, you know, I've got a month before I can get to see anybody. Right, I've just got to clean the microwave today. That's good. I can do that. I probably need it after that tea and coffee dyeing I was doing. Right, so that is um, this part of it up to date. Let's jump to this part we're on the Tomo River paper today so I'm interested to see how this takes the um, everything that I'm going to throw at it I have also put a wider nib in my pen just because I want to see what it's like because you've got to experiment haven't you I'm seriously considering going through my signatures and adding another page into each one because I've just remembered I've got music pages over there that I haven't yet used. So I'm sort of like, do I use them or do I save them for things like tags and stuff like that? Really don't know. I'd have to stick things to it if I um, if I used it. <clears throat> right. It is. I mean, it says cloudy, but there's not a single cloud out there, you know. So I'm only going to make it a wee cloud because it is a gorgeous day and I really wish I felt up to going out but I just don't. I just can't be asked. And it's like I need to do grocery shopping but I can do that online and there's more choice online than there is at the store because the store invariably don't have all the things that I like to order. So it's easier for me to do it from the store and I don't have to drive into town or catch the bus, which, you know, again, has its own fucking problems. So like days like this, I would normally be chomping at the bit going, yeah, I want to go out, I want to go out. And I, and I do, to a point, I want to go out. But I'm also like... <sighs> okay, so the word is owls. Oh, that'd be a good one to play with. And I've got to draw a ghost. Okay. So. Let's see what we can do. Like I said, I've put a bigger nib into it. So, you know. 
put the, the widest nib on there basically because I wanted to see more more of the broader bit love it I'm gonna blame the pen <laughs> a bad workman always blames his tools so then we go I'm wondering if it's not liking the Dunmo River paper because it just really does not seem to want to write come on I think it's the angle at which I'm holding the pen oh yes loving it it's so hard not to tilt though I'm inclined to want to tilt okay so we go oh come on pen this is going to do my nut in. I'm going to have to have a piece of paper here just to scribble on. Oh, I much prefer it with the, the bigger pen, the bigger nib. I think it is just a question of I'm, I'm holding it too shallow. I think I need to be more that way with it. But that's cool. No, I'm, I love it. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And whenever I think of this, I always think of the little Pac-Man ghosts. <laughs> You know, so I'm going to draw a little Pac-Man ghost because that's what I think of when I when I do ghosts <laughs> or Ghostbusters. That's the other one I think of. It's supposed to be a doodle, right? Not a piece of fucking art. That's the thing that I get a bit annoyed with. Some people get a bit. You know, I mean, you've got people who naturally draw well. Cindy, for example, Cindy Gunther Boulder, she has amazing, is amazing art. And then you get people that you know they spent 20 fucking days drawing that one thing. And it's like, dude, it's a doodle challenge. It's supposed to be a little bit of fun. I'm not going to stress about it because, you know, I want to be able to look back on it and go, oh yeah, you know, that was just a little bit fun or whatever. That's why I don't constantly keep trying to draw faces and stuff because I get so stressed out about it because I'm not very good at it. So I'm like, and I get to the point now where I'm like, why should I just stress myself out about it? Yes, I will sit and practice drawing faces, but... I don't want to make it part of this because then it, this becomes and by this I mean the vlog um, this then becomes undesirable and I end up oh, I don't want to do it and all that lot I will tidy this in a minute <laughs> brush is just not fine enough the brush also has yellow in it from the look of things because it's pissing out yellow onto the oh is it the tea is it picking the tea up off the page i never thought about that i was just wondering where's all this fucking yellow coming from i think it's picking the tea up i want to get some um art paper sketch pad paper and make a life flat sketchbook for Callie. I can talk about it on here because I know she doesn't watch these videos. Uh, maybe for Christmas. Just make her one. Because I think she'd really like that. Just a small one that she can carry out and about with her. Because she keeps saying she wants to take her art books out and about. But all of her sketch pads are really quite big. And I just thought I could make her a book. You know, not too thick. But maybe... Is A5 a bit big? I don't know. Maybe A5 size. So, yeah, I've got to find a sketch pad with A4 paper that's not perfect that I can then pull out the pages, cut them in half to A5, and then uh, fold them rather to make A5 signatures. And then I want to do the um, Coptic stitch binding that C. Lowen does. I'm just waiting for that to dry so I can redraw my lines because it's it's wet I'll, I'll have to do that in a minute right yeah so that's that's one thing i want to do she's actually quite easy to buy for compared to the boys the boys are what do you want and they all go oh, i don't know <laughs> i'm like oh, okay 
So now I just say, if you don't tell me, you won't get anything because I'm not going to sit and play the guessing game. So they've all got wish lists now, Amazon wish lists, because I've said to them, fill out your wish lists to give me a choice. Because I don't like when they, you go, what do you want? And they give you one thing. Because then you know what I'm going to get you. Whereas if you give me a list, not only can I relay that to your siblings and the rest of your family and anybody else might want to buy you a present, but it also means that, you know, you're not 100% sure what you're going to get. Works for me. Anyway, right. I'm going to go. And, um... That's almost dry. Once that's dry, I can redraw in the um, the rest of it. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how that's come out, even if the paper, uh, the pen was a bit of a bane. I am going to assume that it's how I'm holding the pen, but that's you know it's all part of the learning curve, isn't it? It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm gonna go. <laughs> gabbling at you and I will see you in the evening edition. Take it easy guys. Hi, welcome back. It is quarter past eight. I've been busy, busy, busy. So let's go and get on with it and do what we've got to do. <coughs> I've set up a weekly template. I'm really forgetful and even things that I do every single week I forget to do it like today I forgot to take Daryl's library book back in we've been doing it all through September and I forgot and it wasn't until I went to pick it up and I went oh it's Friday I didn't bring the library book so it's stuff like that um I've got Kyle's working hours on here because they don't change things that he does every week um take these are just things that need to be done during the week but um aren't necessarily for a set day like i um, take my mother shopping go down and visit Maggie um, then I've got things like my Fitbit things things for Daryl uh, bird seed I've, I've got a bird feeder and um, it's a reminder just to change the seed out otherwise it starts to grow things in the in the in the bird thing so yeah it's, uh, that was a bit of a shock when that happened <laughs> oh dear Right, so I did not wear makeup. Where did we get to today? I did the challenges, that's good then. I have not had any booze. I am currently drinking my one can. I have not had chips. I have not crafted. I need to do an about today. I did do an about today yesterday, our colour and then this pen because they're quite similar. I also did go and work out in the garden. I actually planted some alliums out in the garden today, which was good. So when spring comes, hopefully so will alliums. Oh, I also planted, um, I got a bag, of, um, a mixed bag of tulips and daffodils. So hopefully when spring comes around, all these bulbs will sprout and I'll go, oh, I don't remember planting that. And then when I come on here and I go to you guys, 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 I've got alliums in my garden. You can go, yes, and you, post, you planted those in, in, in October. Because, you know, that's what I'm like. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Right, where are we up to? I have... You're gonna laugh. Um, I'm not gonna change my pain. I'm gonna leave it here. Mainly because I appear to have RSI'd my thumb. Um, I've got this really cool keyboard on my phone that I got when it was still free. It's now unfortunately a paid for app, but um, I really, really like it. And basically, um, it's the old style keyboard and I've got it set up for predictive uh, but I find that typing on it is so much quicker but I find that typing on it is so much quicker than um, using the standard keyboard and I can shrink this a lot smaller than I could 
the iPhone keyboard. I know the iPhone keyboard, you can move it, but you still can't shrink it. And I still find I'm stretching a lot. I've been typing a lot the last couple of days. My thumb is absolute agony. So it's definitely RSI. I know it is. So that is why my pain is staying up there because I, yeah. My mood dipped today. Um, it came out of nowhere, took me rather by surprise. Um, about ten o'clock this morning, and uh, it was it was it was a bit dramatic there for a bit, but it's fine. I'm okay. It's just one of them things. Uh, can't do my steps yet, but they're not going to be much over twelve thousand, I don't think. Now let's see. What did I do? I did the microwave. Daryl's table is good. Dishwasher is sorted. I haven't yet wiped down the kitchen. I did, however. <clears throat> I planted my bulbs in the garden. So, ordered my groceries for tomorrow delivery. Of course, I've ordered them to turn up between 8 and 10, which means they'll probably turn up bang on at 8 o'clock. Daryl will still be asleep in bed, and I won't get a lie in. I have set up next week my Fitbit, and I've done my weekly template. All things I wanted to get done today. I've even put a list on my phone to... Um, because my brain is this bad this is basically what i've done is um i've put in a section on journaling i've entitled it what did i do today i've put a section of stuff that i want to include when i journal and then um a list of things that i need to tick off so i added the bring book into the template template included fitbit stuff opw that's at alex's wrestling training kyle's hours wednesday at school that's um the thing that i go down to it's called FLLT families living and learning together it's basically it's a psychology course it's awesome and very interesting um library book on the Friday and the bird seed so I've done all of that I have also done my gift list which you know I'm not going to take and I need to call my GP that is not going to get done now so that will have to wait until Monday so I am going to write that over on there See if I can get through. I probably can't, but it doesn't hurt to try. So there we go. That is all of that. Now I need to. I'm very pleased with this, but I want to go bigger to make it more, you know, more visible. So my word for for today is gonna be because I did actually bring these in and I was wondering if there's any way I can stick them in and I might decoupage them because these are the these are the ones that I planted um, the Rosen Bacchianum the the yeah, whatever that is i'm i'm not even going to try butchering these and mount everest so they all say plant september till december and they all flower in april and may a couple of them i haven't put in a sunny spot but you know what we'll just have to wait and see so i might put some kind of decoupage down there so let's do Fab. Yeah. So I think that's about it, really. I feel like I've done loads, but but I haven't. Oh, so. Would you like to see a little mail haul I got? Gleaner, you're gonna. Flip your shit when you see these. 
um, do you remember when we were talking about, oh, I need to decorate the cover and what can I put on it? And, and we wrote a little list. Or I wrote a little list. We wrote a little list because you were involved. And I wrote on my little list. Uh, wasn't on that one. It was on the to-do list. Things that I wanted to include, such as a picture of a camera, uh, some flowers, a postcard style thing, a cup of tea, and then you all said tarot stickers. Remember that? Look what arrived. These are amazing, and the first one I'm just like, I love it. I'm gonna have to change the focus so you guys can actually see this because these are fucking gorgeous, and I've ordered like several different packs. I thought they were different, and as I'm looking through this, I'm realizing that they're actually not. So it looks like I might get several copies of the same pack. But look, isn't she fab? So I've got a witchy twitchy. An old star. There are some repeats in this, but I'm really not that bothered. The guac, as in Amoli. The Ace of Swords. I like that. Lady of very Lady of the Lake. The Coffee. Galena. The Coffee. old star death card which I really really like three of the three of tapes <laughs> I love the fact it's going through a video the sun and and you know you, there's always a cat and some sun somewhere isn't there the high priestess I love her I think she's beautiful it's a fab card And another high priest. This is more classic style. This is more what you would expect to see in a tarot deck. The pie! <laughs> How cool is that? The moon. Which I just think is brilliant. The world is a cracked egg. <laughs> oh damn, I'll show that to Callie. A few weeks ago, and do you know what? Not one of you has picked up on this. A few weeks ago, Daryl came out with something that Callie and I both thought was fucking hysterical. So the pair of us, at more or less the same time, changed our profile description. You know when you look at someone's Facebook and it's got the name, and then underneath there's like something they can say. <laughs> and um, Daryl just came out with, I am a broken egg. And Callie and I were like, huh? And we just, it was so funny that we just both put it on. So I think I might have to give that one to Callie. So I'm going to put that one aside. The Fool. I love that. The Beer. The Wine. I don't drink wine or beer. Or coffee for that matter. Lemit. Excuse my disgusting French. A groovy death card. And if you've read Terry Pratchett, you will know that death is most certainly groovy. The Donut. That's awesome. A more classic style death card. I think that's great because there's like heads on it and everything. I love that. When you consider the Joker's just come out on um, at the movies, I think that's brilliant. Um, the Marguerite. <laughs> Justice. That is a regular terror card. Justice. The Tower, that is also a proper one. The Nap, that is not a proper card, but isn't that brilliant? The Star, that's a proper card. The Magician is also a proper card, but isn't that appropriate for Halloween? I mean, look at it. How freaking cool is that? The Cactus, which I also think should go to Cali. The Avocado, I don't, I don't do Avocado, I don't eat it. Little Cute Chibi Death. Another Moon one. The sushi. <laughs> Quite a sexy little high priestess. Don't panic. Strength. The surfer. <gasps> Card six is actually the lovers, it's not the surfer. There you go. <laughs> Twelve pizza. That's that's not that's not that's not a proper tarot card. But that reminds me very much of Alex. Um, the Feminist, that's a good card, I like that one. 
amber. Look what I found. It's the only one in this whole deck. A lot of them repeat, this is the only TARDIS one. I think that's awesome. I was just like, oh, I can't wait to show Amber. And I've really, really wanted to photograph it and send it to you guys. But I'm like, no, 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 because I wanted to wait for this. The Empress. The Boss Lady. The Unicorn. 22 is the eye roll. <laughs> Lamor. The coffee. Again, the pizza. The empress. She's got eyes on her ass. <laughs> the cheat day. The protector. The magician. And back to witchy twitchy. Aren't they great? I think they're absolutely fantastic. So I am definitely going to decorate my um, October cover. And uh, yeah, I th definitely think Witchy Twitchy is going to go on there. Maybe even a couple more. So yeah, I think they're brilliant. And I've got more packs coming. I must have ordered about three different packs of tarot stickers because I thought they were all different. And the reason I ordered those was it came up with the coffee and I thought well that's quite funny even though I don't drink coffee I go for it and then there was another deck from somebody else that had the beer on it and I thought oh yeah yeah that's cool as well I'm also betting they're exactly the same I shall crack up if they are but you know whatever I don't quite know how I'm going to organise them either because my little um excuse me I'm drinking cola my little stack of boxes it's up. I just dropped everywhere. Oh my god! And they opened and oh shit! That went everywhere. That was um, Christ. Yeah, my little these are these are these have all got things in them now, and um, ah <laughs> uh, help! <laughs> oh my god! There's fucking ephemera all over me. I don't even know where half of these things fell from. I had them all bloody organised as well. Mm. So, all of these have something in them. And, um... I'm never picking it up again. <sighs> of course, the one that dropped and burst open is one that was full of vellum. Oh, God. Thank Christ. That one didn't burst open. It's full of fucking eyelets. <laughs> right, the eyelets all go down there. That's true. I had them all organised and now I'm just like, I don't know where anything is. Right. That's all. So that's cameras that can go there because I reached up for that one quite a lot. Where the hell the lid went? Did I have the lid? <sighs> well, what a mess! There's bloody vellum stickers everywhere. <laughs> Where did the lid go? Oh wow, they're, they're even over that side. Oh, there's a box under there. Found the lid. <sighs> Fun 
the lid. That's it, that's okay. <sighs> uh. What a mess. I'll be a little bit more careful when I pick that up now. God. So yeah, so this is full and I'm sort of like, uh, I don't know where to put everything. I mean, some of them literally have only a couple of bits in them. So those are all... Oh, God. So it's like I'd like to have, like, all the flowers in one and then other bits and bobs in another. That's to do with travel. That's metal what's this one this or tea okay well I guess we're gonna be mixing these together birdies and flowers this is where I find out these fucking things don't fit anyway no they don't oh do you know what I am gonna make an ephemera folder like dragonflies made not that long ago she made a little ephemera book well it wasn't actually quite that little um, and it, it looks brilliant and it is it basically it opens up like a regular book and each page is sort of not ca cardstock I suppose is the is the best description for it and um, she sewed acetate in and she did like pockets of all varying different sizes and she's tucked all her ephemera pieces like these into the pockets you know so she can just flick through when she wants to get to them and I think I might do that with the flat ephemera for stuff like this and um you know these because it's like in here as well I've got all of this in here that I won't use because I can't see it you know and I've also got more ephemera that I've bought from Ali that I can't stick in those little boxes because it's just too big and I don't like having my ephemera in several different places so what I'm thinking is that I might have to make one of these folders but I don't know where to get acetate from I'm really annoyed that they don't fit especially after all that and they fell out and, and the bag that they came in I can't get them back in anyway so, <sighs> why does stuff never fit back in the bag? Have you noticed that? So yeah, that that anyway, that was disastrous. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Okay, so that can live in there, that'll be safe in there. They probably didn't go in that way around, but there we go. Right, um, <laughs> so yeah, that might be an upcoming project. Buy some acetate and um, have a go at making one of these ephemera folders. But first I want to decorate my book, which is on my list of things to do. That seems really high. My max tipped. So there you go. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you so so much for joining me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> you can laugh at me down in the comments. I really don't mind because you know I laugh at me all the time. I think I'm fucking hysterical. But there you go. Um, I'm looking around for tins that I can I can put these little cards in. But I've only got like big tins. I don't have little tins. The only little tin I've really got is that one that I got from Amanda, but I can't fit those in there either. That's not really much use, that tin, for me. I need a nice little square tin. The other thing I could use is this that my necklace came in. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have to make this uh, ephemera book. I have to all smother tape. Right, I'm going. I will see you. Thank you.
thank you so much for joining me uh, if you click the book you will be subscribed if you hit the bell that appears down below you'll be notified every time i upload new content i really do appreciate you joining me and you know what go ahead and laugh at me because you know i think i'm fucking hysterical i'm probably the only one but there you go it's been good it's been great i will be back in saturday's edition of today in my boo journal take it easy guys